Hello everyone, it's time to take another look at Search for a Nonviolent Future. It's February 13th, 2016. We were up to page approximately 35. We are taking our time with this book, and I hope you're finding that it's rich enough. Uh, but I was making the point that uh, people would be likely to refrain from harming others if they knew that in so doing they were harming themselves. So let me expand on that a little bit because this is a beautiful example of how modern science is offering confirmation to what was said thousands and thousands of years ago in the wisdom tradition, the tradition of great sages. And uh, I've just been using a passage right now in my meditation, which is from the Buddha, from the Dhammapada, and he says, if you hurt another person, it's like throwing sand into the wind, it's going to come back and hit you. Well, now, of course, we have very concrete confirmation of this, if we needed it, and I guess some of us do, uh, from science in the form uh, specifically that neuroscientists have discovered, which is what they call mirror neurons, such that if I were to inflict pain on another creature, the suffering of that creature is actually being represented in my nervous system. So I may not be consciously aware that I'm suffering because my attention is on something else. Maybe I'm even finding this exciting if I've gotten that dehumanized. But it is registering in my being. And uh, the difference now, of course, is some people would say that it's the nervous system that creates the empathy, whereas uh, I am firmly convinced that it's the empathy that causes the nervous system to grow in order to sustain and record those responses. And in fact, recently I visited again a friend of mine in UCLA who studies mirror neurons and learned from him that mirror neur we c the brain can make mirror neurons. So when you feel more empathetic, the plasticity of the brain is such that you create pathways to reflect that uh, f fellow suffering which is such an important part of our being. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up now. And uh, the next uh, tomorrow, what we'll be discussing are these different lenses or viewpoints to take on what violence is. And having dealt with that a day or two, we will go on to really finally talking about what is nonviolence. And let me close by inviting you once again to join the experiment.